Adobe always recommends using the most up-to-date Flash Player version currently available. But sometimes, after updating Flash Player, people encounter a problem with the new version that they didn't have with the old version. When that's the case, doing a clean install usually solves the problem. For more information on how to perform a clean install, see the related FAQ on the Adobe support site. If a clean install doesn't solve the problem, then you may need to revert to a previous version of Flash Player in order to restore functionality. This video tutorial for Mac OS X will show you how to do that. First, you have to determine which operating system your Mac is running. Click the Apple icon in the upper left corner of your screen and in the drop-down menu select About This Mac. In the dialog which appears, your version number will be displayed here. So take note of it because you're going to need this information later. Then close out the dialog and launch your browser. Search for uninstall Flash Player using any search engine. On the search results page, Adobe's uninstall Flash Player Mac OS should be the second hit. We'll also include the link in the notes with this video. On the uninstall Flash Player page, scroll down a little and click the link to download the uninstaller appropriate for your Mac's operating system. I've got 10.6.8, so I'm choosing this one. When download is complete, double-click the uninstaller DMG to open it. In the dialog, which appears, double-click the uninstaller icon to launch it. In the next dialog, click Open, and in the uninstaller dialog, click Uninstall. If necessary, type your Mac's password, and in the next dialog, if you're prompted to close any programs, do so. I'm going to go ahead and close Safari. Click Retry, and when Flash Player uninstallation is complete, click Done. Now, relaunch your browser, and this time search for Flash Player Archive. On the search results page, Adobe's archived Flash Player versions should be the top hit. We'll also include the link in the notes with this video. On the archive page, scroll down to Flash Player Archives, where you will see a list of Flash Player versions and their release dates. Currently, we're on Flash Player 11.5.502.146, which you can see here at the top of the list. Now you can choose to revert to the previous version of Flash Player 11 here, which will have the latest functionality but not the latest security patches, or you can step back to the most recent Flash Player 10, which doesn't have all the features of Flash Player 11 but does have the latest security patches. Once you decide what you want, click the link to download the zipped folder, and when the folder finishes downloading, double-click it to open it. Take a moment to close your browser. I'm going to close Safari again. Now, in the downloaded folder, disregard the debug folder and open the other folder. Here you will see various Windows and Mac installers for this build of Flash Player. Double click on the Flash Player Mac DMG. In the dialog which appears, double click the installer icon and in the next dialog, click Open. In the Flash Player installation dialog, check the box to agree to the terms and click Install. Enter your Mac password if necessary, and when installation is complete, click Done. Now, you can close those out, and to confirm that Flash Player has been successfully installed, launch your browser one more time and search for Find Flash Player Version. On the search results page, click the link to view the Adobe Find Version page. On the version page, if you see this animation, it means that Flash Player has been successfully installed. Congratulations and enjoy using Flash Player.